Today I'm gonna to have Sean from Little Guy Trailer walk us through an Intech Flyer Explorer and I'm just gonna interrupt him rudely to kind of share with you from a teardrop trailer owner. I own a cargo trailer, our family has a pop-up. We always have a 13 foot trailer in our yard. Basically I'm saying I love small camper trailers and I wanna share just from my perspective who this trailer is probably for, who will benefit from it, but I'll also show you three other trailers in the market that are similar to it to give you a better understanding of what's out there for you. All right, so let's get right into this. Hey guys, this is the Intec Flyer Explorer. It's really your go anywhere, do anything trailer. It can do the desert, mountains, you can go wherever you want. Check it out guys, on top of the all aluminum frame, you've got this nice strong storage box here for any gear you want. Yeah, it's got a removable table right here for any extra um, prep work you want to do. And that has the whole kitchen that pulls out of the side. Let's let's take a look at that. So walking over here, you've got the galley that pulls out of here. You've got the dull burner stove and a catch under here to release it. Nice double burner stove pulls out here. So I don't know if you noticed, that was a big pull-out kitchen. I mean, it was so big, did you see it kind of wobbling there? Uh, it's gonna have what you need. But one thing I did notice, Sean said that L design is going to give you more prep space. And it does, but compared to other small camper trailers we've covered, this isn't a lot of prep area. But that really shouldn't be a deal breaker because you can bring foldable aluminum tables, bring chairs, you can make the kitchen as big as you want. So that's kind of the beauty of these small camper trailers with the kitchens outside. This is your kitchen. This comes out like here. And then you've got the refrigerator here by Dometic. And opens up from either way. And then with this table here, this removable surface here, you kind of have an L-shaped arrangement for your your cooking and that sort of setup it's got the on top it's mounted the bat wing awning which wraps around it really gives you coverage over this cook station here so really great design to that you can get out of the out of the rain and really do what you need to do and stay dry so if you're not familiar with a bat wing awning how they work they attach to the roof rack of your trailer and you're going to have to go up zip it open pull it out and then it fans out over you and it gives you this nice protection from the rain but as nice as a batwing awning is, there's also some downfalls I want to point out. So if you have a teardrop trailer or a square drop, you just walk to the galley, open it up, walk under it, now you're protected from the rain. No zipping, pulling things out. With the batwing awning, you're going to have to attach guy lines to the ground or tie it back to the trailer, and this is going to protect it from the wind. Now at the end of the day, with the teardrop, you just shut that hatch and you go on. With this bat wing awning, you're going to have to get up there, fold it properly together, then you're gonna to have to stuff it up there and zip it up. And if it's a rainy day, this means you're going to have to take it out again at home to dry it off because if you leave that wet in there, the mold and the mildew will damage it. And another thing that I didn't know about bat wing awnings until I took out the Valiant trailer, they're hard to get up to, they're really tall. And especially on an off-road trailer like this one, I'm five foot 11, I climbed up the fenders and it still was really awkward. And it's so tight, you know, normally you can kind of reach out, but if you're on the fender, you're really close to it. To me, in a perfect world, you have a hatch that protects you from the rain and then the bat wing awning is a supplement, maybe another part of your trailer. Nice and tight in there and you pull down the pin. And there you go. All right, here's the ramp. Really strong, you just roll an ATV right in. You've got tie downs in there to strap whatever you need in there, bikes, quad, and you've got the nice solid floor here. You can get water on there, just roll whatever you got right in, and it's ready to go. Really versatile open space. Sound system in there, lights, full bed that's gonna fold out. We're gonna show you that in just a second, but really a nice, Awesome setup here. So a really unique feature of these Intec trailers is they're all built on aluminum frames. So not only does this keep the weight down. So for example, this trailer comes in at about 14, I think about 1500 pounds at its dry weight, but it also prevents corrosion if you have an aluminum frame. So if you live somewhere with salt or a salty environment, this is a good option for you. All right, here's the tip out for the bed. I'll do one side and the other. Comes right down, real good size bed. 
these little corner pieces come down. And then we're gonna finish setting it up from the inside. Really fast, real easy. Here we go. Bam, there we go. So for those of you who've seen our pop-up videos, you noticed it bothered me a little bit. It wasn't too hard popping it up, but that took a bit of time. These tip outs, I mean, you saw Sean, that took seconds to get the bed set up. Tip out bed on this side, a really good size. You can fit two people, maybe three on this side. And also what you can do guys is it has the one tip out that it comes with, but if you want to get a second one, you can get it on this side here to double your sleeping area. But I do like to remind small camper owners, if you add a window to a wall or a tip out like this, there's always a trade-off. So by getting this new thing, you're losing that wall, what it could store, what it could function as for holding items. Yes, it's a plus, but it also can be a downfall. But it opens up great. You've got the screens on there, you get complete privacy. Pretty good standing room. Um, really nice setup, sound system here. Great prep area in the front, storage with the recessed lighting up here. It has the AC and a heat strip, fantastic fan. So I really have to point this one out, and this is something I found awkward about this trailer. Now, let's take the Intec Luna, for example. I'll show that one in some future video, but it is a neat teardrop that's pretty big. But when you're in it, it's low enough that you're always squatting down and it feels natural. You never accidentally hit the ceiling. Well, this trailer is awkward to me because it's almost standing height. So you're kind of just bent over and then you go to do something and you kind of pop up into it. Now there's gonna be some of you that are small enough that you're actually going to be able to stand fully and this will be great. Now this Intec line does make a trailer with all these same features, but it has the ability to stand up and I'll talk about that here in just a little bit. All right, with this design here, you've got these nice tie downs here. So you could put a, a couple bikes in here, four wheeler, really nice design, ATV maybe. Uh, so with the set up here, you can have the bed here, um, have your, your sleeping area here, and then your the fun bike area in one place. And so separate areas for that. You could also put a, the kids over here and the adults here. So all kinds of things you can do with this to make it exactly what you want to do for your camp out and kind of customize it for your camping experience. So I mentioned earlier in the video, I think this trailer is in our top three because it meets a very specific need. Our family is bursting at the seams with just toys and fun things. And at some point, the teardrop no longer holds our inflatable paddle boards, our inflatable kayaks, the bikes, and even the Jeep or our four cylinder matrix, they just don't have room. And so I think, our initial thought, and maybe you have this as well, is, well, get a truck. You know, get a truck that can haul that gear. But you also know that's like a struggle for me. I like to keep my daily commuter. I like to keep the cost down. A truck would either mean getting an extra vehicle in our fleet or getting a vehicle that gets less gas mileage for us. Or, you know, there's always a trade-off. And so in my mind, make this trailer the truck. This could be our truck. I can keep my same daily driver, hook this up, and now I can I can haul more gear than I, I could even imagine fitting in this thing. And then check that out, guys. On the top, you've got the roof rack, so you could put on any kind of gear you want to bring with you. Maybe some surfboards, uh, kayak, any kind of gear you got, you can take it with you and do that experience. All right, so I wanna share with you the three other comparable trailers to this one in terms of just getting you outdoors, going kind of off-road, off the beaten path, carrying a bunch of gear, ATVs, motorcycles, all that fun stuff. So the first one is from this Intec line. So we've been talking about the Intec Flyer Explore. They also make the Intec Flyer Discover. And it's just a bigger version of what we've been talking about. Instead of the hunch ceilings, you now have almost a seven foot ceiling, 6.9 inches. Instead of the outdoor kitchen, you have a kitchen that is inside. 
Uh, you can sleep, what, four to six adults. So it's same, it has an option for two tip out beds. So although the Discover model is a bit bigger and you know has more features, it only weighs about a thousand pounds more. So it's coming in around 2,500 pounds, which means you can still tow it with a midsize SUV, your larger SUV, and it's not going to force you to find a dedicated tow vehicle. So the next trailer is the Jumping Jack trailer, and I've never taken it out, but I have seen it all over the state, like driving all around. And I think this is a really neat trailer and that it's known to do it all. It's really a three purpose trailer. Number one, it is a tent trailer. And the beauty of tent trailers, for those of you who are a little too tall for most small camper trailers, I'll throw the size up on here, but typically any tent trailer has enough standing height that almost anybody can fit in it. Number two, they function as a cargo trailer, so you can haul wood and gear and everything to your work site. And number three, it functions as a toy hauler. So there's four versions. It starts out at a four by six trailer, which hauls one ATV. And then the fourth, the largest version is a six by 17, which hauls four ATVs. And the prices on these start at 7,000 on the base model of the four by six, all the way up to about $11,500 on the base model of the seven by 16. The next trailer is the Sylvan Go, and it does pretty much everything like these other trailers. So this trailer, why I really like it, it's coming in at about 960 pounds, I believe, and it kind of goes up and down. So it has these roof racks on it that you can lower to accommodate your needs. So if you're just hauling a bike that day or some kayaks, you can bring it down so you're not straining to get the items up. But if you need to haul, you know, a bunch of cargo boxes or you need to haul an ATV or a motorcycle, that roof raises and now you can put that motorcycle in there and above it still haul a kayak or a bike or whatever. So it's really multifunctional. Another thing I really like about it is when you get in the interior, like I said about the last one, it has a really tall ceiling. I think it's about six foot five inches for the standing height. And then when you're in there, it's very customizable. So you can make it so there's two single beds with a nice area in between to walk around and do things. Or you can keep the two single beds and drop down a table. Or the final option is you can drop a middle section and the entire thing becomes just one giant bed. Uh, and this trailer, just like the Intec trailers, is built on an aluminum frame, which keeps that weight down, keeps the corrosion issues down, um, and seems to be a pretty good all around design. So for those of you who are interested in the Intec Flyer Explorer, the one we showed this whole video, the main trailer, here is the price on that one. So the price is coming in at about 19,000. I've seen it down to as low as 18,700. So if you haven't seen our other walkthrough videos, check them out. I'll have a playlist here of trailer versus trailer. And you guys will be back with camping videos in our next video. So check out our other camping videos if you're new to all this and uh, thanks for stopping by.